Okay, so I guess this will be the best bike to demonstrate this on since this is the same bike that you're uh, working with right now. Um, all of this looks looks like you're probably right on the outside. Um, all of that, all of your pictures looked right. But uh, uh, let's find out where that spacer is coming from. <laughs> Like it's good to be alive And I'm a famous rapper Even when the paths are all crooked I can show you how to do -si do I can show you how to scratch a record I can take apart the remote control And I can almost put it back together I can tie a knot in a cherry stem I can tell you about Lee Ferrickson I Okay, all the words so today, clearly not that one American. Me and my friends are platypus But Me although that's what it looks like Guess In your picture I can do anything that I want Cause look, I can keep rhythm with Yeah, that's no what I thought Okay, so that one no That one's graduated no um, so that it fits in, inside of this larger uh, inner diameter or the inner race of the cush drive carrier bearing is bigger than the wheel bearings. So it's graduated to fit inside that bearing. That's pretty typical. <laughs> then, so here's your inner race of your inner wheel bearing. And there's your spacer that goes in between the wheel bearings so that it pinches that whole assembly together. Okay, so there's no bushing inside of the brake carrier. And this is what fell out of this side. So this kind of the same deal as the other side. It pinches the inner race here. I don't know, man. I don't see it. So as long as you have a continuous um, stack up of uh, inner races and spacers to where there's no interruption, when your axle uh, squeezes or pinches that whole assembly together, it should squeeze all of your inner bearing races together so that they can't spin individually and so that it won't uh, put a side load or it's called an axial load on the bearing. So here, there it is. That's, that's it. There's just the two spacers. There's the one that goes inside the cush drive. But that's graduated, so it's clearly not that one. This is the one that it looks like. Um, unless yours is completely different, I think that that spacer goes to a different bike. So, that's my two cents. I can ride my bike with no handlebars, no handlebars, no handlebars.